My first job was at a dairy suite when I was 14 years old. And the owner must have decided that I was truly able to handle it because he was never around. My first real job, my younger brother and I actually um, had a bait shop. It was actually a very lucrative business. My first job was the information booth at the Iowa State Fair. I did it with my mother. And in the summertime, I would um, go to the fruit stands and the vegetable stands, and I would uh, work there in the summertime. But my first job was probably when I went to college, and in summers I came back home and I was uh, a bank teller in the local community bank. My first job actually was in travel. I had the opportunity to take a position to work at a travel agency. I think my leadership style is, I've always felt like I would try to go with firm, fair, and fun. The first one that comes up uh, in, in my mind is commitment, that great leaders are, are committed and dedicated uh, to the core values of what they believe in. I felt like if I was open and honest with my staff all the time, my team, and found their strengths and built on that, that I would get a person who was totally engaged in what we were doing. I probably, like a lot of people, don't know that I have a leadership style. I'm sure I do. I think it probably tends to be a consensus building style. I try to be open and try to be a good listener. I probably um, am most inclined to ask people, you know, kind of for their input, what they think, see if we can all kind of get to a common agreement on, on how we ought to proceed when we're doing things. I think to be considered a great leader, someone needs to have vision. They may not know what's what's down the path, but they have to be open to the fact that they, they need to seek a vision. Anytime you have two people in the room, you can be a leader, and it's your choice. It's your opportunity, and not to let any of those opportunities go by. I think great leaders have to have a sense of humility. You never know all the answers, and you have to always learn from others, so it's great to have a sense of humility, something that, uh, that I, hopefully that I have as well. Well, I've been inspired by my family, my friends, um, teachers, people that have believed in me, people that have given me the opportunity to have the courage to step out of my box, so to speak. First of all, my mom, who, who is the person I would say inspired me. Um, she lived in a very traditional, you know, housewife, um, a working housewife, but still very much a traditional setting. But really, it, I think, encouraged, there, she had three daughters, she encouraged all of us, you know, to just never settle and to be confident about going out and doing whatever we wanted to. I didn't really choose the nonprofit field that chose me. Uh, I was recruited to look at this opportunity and once I did, I realized what an excellent opportunity for leadership it was to be in charge of a uh, organization, but also in the nonprofit world you pick up the mission piece and you're not just doing well, you're doing good. It, it really starts with my parents. My parents have uh, again been very blessed to have parents who were very supportive and um, uh, set a good example. My dad was every day, you know, to work and no excuses and uh, never missed a day. I think mentoring other women is um, something important for all of us that are blessed to move up you know, on the ladder somewhere. I have met a lot of women over the years that maybe weren't dealt the best hand in, in their life. And I think if we can each open a door to hope in some way by just making that interaction with them, building a confidence, even in the smallest way, might be that one thing that makes a difference to another woman. We need women. We need women to be able to step up to that challenge and um, there's great opportunities ahead. So with that, um, I'm willing to mentor any woman along the way because there's great things ahead. I mentor other women and have had the opportunity um, for the interns that come into our office. And I just think it's so important for them to have someone that believes in them and understands that they need someone to make them feel good about themselves and know who they are and know what they want to do and what they want to um, pursue. I think mentoring other women is probably uh, important in part because women have a very different leadership style than men. 
I think women are more prone to be consensus builders. I think that their approach to things is a little softer. And so I think that um, it's a really positive thing when you have the mix of both men and women in leadership positions. I truly believe the best way to give back is to make the path forward a little bit easier. And that includes making the path forward a little easier for women that want to go into engineering as well. I will tell you that I strongly believe women approach life as a relationship. It's not a transaction, it's a relationship. Um, males tend to approach it a little more transactionally, the world's a little more black and white, and in these shades of gray that women operate are many opportunities for success on, on all fronts. I think we all have to remember that life goes really fast, and if we don't step off that teeter-totter once in a while, and make sure we're still grounded and that we like what we see. I think that's what's really important, is to be committed, to be willing to take risk, uh, to know that uh, you're gonna hit a brick wall. There are days where you know, you're know, you gonna make mistakes and that's okay. Um, you have to work through those and just know that that's an opportunity to learn. I know that um, through those strengths that I've gained, I've been able to work with people and solve problems, be creative, and know that there's so much more beyond um, just the community you live in. If I could tell the younger me anything, it would probably be um, just to not be afraid to try anything. Um, you know, I think I look back probably in my college years and think of things that I, I thought about doing and I didn't do because I was just a little intimidated. And I would say, you know, the older I got, the more I looked back and I thought, I could have done that stuff. Believe in yourself. Uh, believe in your abilities. Also believe that the glass ceiling is a myth because it truly is. Also remember along your path to nourish your soul. Make sure you hold close the family that's so important to you because without your family all your success, all the success in the world is meaningless.